Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at, whatever time zone you're in. Thank you for coming back if you're coming back. Now, the next goal for all my subscribers is to stay longer than two minutes. Can you do it? I believe in you. I think you can do it. So my analytics are showing that everybody's dropping off around two minutes. So the longer you stay on these videos, it might be more helpful for you. I, I do understand the tech videos that some of you are zoning out. Some of them can be kind of boring, I know, but um, let's try and work on it. Yes, I appreciate everybody. I'm going off the screen now. This video has no organization. I'm just letting you know in advance that I'm randomly picking topics and talking about talking about um, how to save money on different things. So this is from Consumer Reports, and these are some of the things on how to save money and waste less. Um, some of this you might already know. But like I said, we're going to aim for two more than two minutes on these videos, okay? So you might be able to learn something that might help you. Want a sustainable life that thinks it requires too much? All right. Let's take some simple steps and be more green and save money around the house. All right, switch to a reusable pod filter and save $393 a year. Install a, oh, a bidet, I don't, I don't know, bidet, I'm sorry, I, I got to learn how to pronounce this, bidet seat on the toilet, and it'll save you on toilet paper. Uh, reduce the temperature on your water heater from 140 to 120. Okay, I've got to go check my water heater. Okay. 453. Now, I think the bidet things are pretty simple from what everybody tells me. Installing some of those. So, that could be an easy way. All right. I just love this picture. So, we got to keep that up for a few minutes and talk about saving and making our house green. I love it. All right. One of the tips is to make your own sparkling water. These are pretty pretty popular and if you make your own you can put uh, natural ingredients in it and make them more healthy if you're just buying seltzer water from the stores um so yeah that is it and their recommendation here is soda stream tear but you might probably can find some more you know that are not as as expensive it's up to you uh, embrace a kinder K cup and they give you uh, reusable K cup options and um, I would suggest investing in one that is not plastic because you don't want all that plastic going into your coffee and I don't know anyone off the top of my head to suggest to you they do have some here that might not be plastic I don't know so another one is giving your leftovers new life um, an air fryer such as this can bring even loaded nachos, tacos, and foods typically thought impossible to resuscitate back to original glory. All right, another thing is if you are looking to compost, this person up here does it in an apartment. And some apartments have balconies, and they can um, put their compost outside. So... Here is one called the Superhuman Compost Caddy for $50. And, and you can put all your food scraps um, and all these things in it. Now, it fits in the freezer. So, okay, that helps. I was going to say, if you put it outside on an apartment thing, especially in New York, you might end up with rats, cats, or raccoons. Who knows? So this one here, you can put it in the freezer, and it keeps smells and bugs at bay this simple human compost caddy some cities offer a drop-off or a pickup service and commercial composting companies will pick up residential waste for free uh, my sister uses one and gets bags of compost in return they have zero outdoor space and you can drop off the food scraps at locals farmers market so some of the indoor options are the vitamix food cycler those are kind of high, $400. I don't know if you can save any money um, by donating the compost. I don't know if they give you any money back or not. 
and the loamy home compost are in a few ver vermi compost bins where worms do the most. Um, so you can check this out on cr.org at composters and see um, you know what works for you. So that's another good way of um, saving some money, helping the environment, making your home green. All right, water pill filter pitchers. Now I did invest in some of these in the past and they are nice especially if you when I was working in an office in 2022 um, not in 2020 before 2020 I had one of these at work because the water you could not drink the water out of the water fountain or in the sink so I brought some of these to work with me and they worked very well as soon as they said you are full-time work at home or remote, then I don't need them anymore and I donate them. And mine was about like this one here, Brita Rapid Stream. Mine was from Crystal Water, I believe, for about the same amount of money. And uh, you only have to get a new filter maybe once a year. The cartridges replace $7 each. Yeah, they're very um, inexpensive and definitely worth it if you cannot drink the water where you're at. Instead of buying the bottled water, they definitely will save you some money. Alright, so another tip here is to cut back on food waste. And um, i got to say I have trouble with this myself. So we throw out about a third of our food. And I try not to throw out too much, but it just happens that way sometimes. Um, especially if you got a big home and you keep putting um, leftovers in there and you're forgetting about them. Nobody wants leftovers, and so you, they end up getting thrown out. So bread can keep up into the freezer for like three months. So you might want to put that in there. And another thing you can try is, is just to freeze like bananas, berries, spinach, and other things you might use in your smoothies. You can build a freezer file and keep an itemized list on your phone of what goes into the freezer so you don't forget about it. Label and date the items you freeze so you know how long it's been in there. First in, first out. You know, pull items from the back. And it's kind of like the grocery store. Pull items from the back. Because you want to use what's older first and forgotten so they don't uh, end up in the trash. Alright, don't take the package Best Buy dates as gospel. It's easy to interpret them as throwout dates, but these dates are voluntarily put on there to indicate when the food is best of quality. It's not necessarily when you have to throw them out. Grow your own herbs. Alright, so Trader Joe's sells cut basil for $2.69 on a potted basil plant, $4. And it could provide a steady supply of aromatic herbs. And um, so that's another suggestion. All right, this is going to be my last tip on this video. So if you stay till the end, then you again will get the most value, especially on my money saving videos. Uh, like I said, I had no plan on this. We're kind of just going with it. Um, get the dishes clean using less energy and water. So let's see what this is. Use the water efficient two basin system. Scrape away the solid soak and the dirty. These are dishwashers. Okay, I couldn't figure out what these were. So these are the dishwashers rated by Consumer Reports as the best and the most for your value. And it looks like this Bashi is uh, the best. It's got 88 for 550. And they have all three of them on here. They all are in the 80s, and some of them are a little higher than others, depending on what you want, if you want plastic or stainless. Now, um, it's always best if you can afford stainless to get stainless because plastic will. Um, just a side note, because I used to sell these at Best Buy, and I learned that plastic retains smells. And so even with tubs, we want to try not to get plastic tubs, plastic anything, because it retains odors. And I always just keep that in the back of my mind, especially with um, anything where you're cleaning, you know. Dishwashers, bathtubs, washing machines, all these things. You want to try and get stainless if you can. 
So you don't have anybody else's odors or odors, you, your own odors you can't get rid of, right? Try a cheaper detergent. You might find a lot less expensive gel works fine rather than those single dose packs. Build up mineral scales and food residue can diminish your cleaning ability. So if you want to have one that cleans and has a filter, um, run it on an empty load with a cleaner and that works a few times a year. Um, if you don't use a dishwasher, don't pre-rinse unless you have a super hard water or an ineffective dishwasher. So if you need to replace your dishwasher, um, Bashi seems to right now in 2022 get the best results. So congratulations on everybody who made it past two minutes. And I appreciate everybody watching till the end. And I will uh, see you all in the next video.